listening to Almond in the Morning, Common Sense Radio. A song called Batiste the Cat by Jesse Cook, you know. Perfect intro to the story about the U.S. researcher who says that cats either ought to be killed or kept indoors. So if you stray cats running around, kill them. Oh my. And or keep, keep, them on, them keep them on a leash. A cat on a leash? Well, the guy says that basically what they're doing is they're destroying birds, mammals, and reptiles, and that they are responsible for the extinction of 63 species of birds, mammals, and reptiles. And basically that's the, what they're doing is they're, they're predators, and they need to be eradicated or kept indoors. Jeez. I, it's probably not wrong about that. It's huh? kind of true about cats. So people think like cats, you know, cats are are the ones who are the carnivores. People think that dogs are the ones, like you give a dog a steak or something. And it's the cats that want the steak. They, they, <laughs> they, they eat that stuff. And dogs are better off with a omnivorous t- type of... Yep of mm-hmm. diet diet that it would include like even carrots and stuff like that but but cats they don't do the whole veggie thing they want something dead smelly and that's what they like <laughs> i always heard and i don't know the validity of it but if you die your cats will eat you okay but you can't feed it sorry i'm sorry we were talking about it pippi <laughs> has this he she has this thing about people and things being eaten <laughs> Like she obsessed over this guy getting his so face that one eaten story. off. Yeah. And- no, I just don't know why they didn't shoot that guy off of the guy eating the face. This is never mind. Is it <laughs> Kevin Jackson time? Keep it here. You found the black spear. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, don't tie around your cat. The Blackspear.net. How you doing, brother? I'm just sitting here eating my cat. <laughs> you Do don't, it before it eats you. You don't but seem before, like the, before it eats me. <laughs> you don't seem like the kind of guy that has a cat. I don't have a cat. I didn't think so. You have I'm like a dog guy. My dog, my uh, dog died recently, man. It was a horrible. Mm-hmm. You know, when you got to put your dog down, that is the worst ever. I've had to do it twice because normally when I was younger, they would just tell me the dog ran off, and I thought, "Did we have a lot of dogs that run off?" You know, <laughs> but um, but uh, yeah. So I have to put the second of my do- pound pups that we save, you know, and, and save them from death. And then we have to put them down. You feel like an executioner. When yeah, you do I know. It. It's horrible. Well, you seem like the kind of guy, though. Like you, you seem like the most interesting man in the world type. Like you have like a pet giraffe as you sit That's there. And, I am. No, and, and yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not that. I'm not that interesting when it comes to <laughs> you know the, the the weird things that people do with their lives. I'm very conservative and straight in that regard. Right. But uh, I, I love my dogs. I, I do love dogs, and we we got to find a. Some dogs here pretty soon because we got to replace the ones that we lost. Hey man, lots going on. Yeah. Hillary Clinton in triage. The Democrats are are running around. I mean, just they don't even know how to act. And I, I'm looking at all this stuff. I don't know what you guys are talking about, but I watched Hillary Clinton. Literally, the Secret Service guy had to help her up two steps at Temple University. I don't know if you know this. She has canceled every event over the net it's like the if you go look at hillary clinton's schedule she's canceled every event except one fundraiser for the next month and the fun, and, and and then the fundraisers that they have that are scheduled they don't have her speaking at they have other people uh speaking at these fundraisers she's been missing incommunicado for the last you know day and a half and i i think there's serious issues i predicted that that hillary clinton is not going to be physically fit to, to withstand the, the the rigors of this election because of the stress of her lying in the cover up. Yeah, that that thing with Chapel Hill. I mean, that, that, I know it got it got a lot of play, like for instance on Drudge. But generally, there there the lack of curiosity among the media is pretty amazing to me. It, it is, Jamie. But I think they're starting to get curious. And yeah. I think the reason why they're canceling these events is if you if you notice the uh, the uh, the Chapel Hill event where they're helping her up the steps. They're, you look at the people in the background, they're like kind of like in shock that she's needing help. There's no other video of it, et cetera. It was a very small event. It holds 4,600 people and less than 200 showed up. Then she canceled the fundraiser. And it's because now people are starting to get a little curious. They're, they're, it's, I think that there's going to be too much scrutiny, too much media. I, I even heard that she's dismissing some of the media that was traveling with her. So, 
uh, look, there's just too much crazy stuff going on around here, and the, they, there's that video circulating of her eyes getting all kind of weird. That I think I think Hillary Clinton, man, in the next uh, I think in the next two weeks they're gonna they're gonna tell us that she's incapacitated. Yeah, and I'll tell you that, but there's gonna be some way, which was why I'm looking at this Monday debate, and I'm thinking there's gonna be some way they're gonna totally screw Trump on this debate. I don't know how they're gonna do it, what trap they're gonna lay. But I have a feeling it, I don't think it's going to matter a whole lot. Uh, I, I realize Trump has a lot at stake, but I'm not quite sure he has that uh, much at stake. You're, you're you're right. They could if he falls for the traps. But I think that his hand, for example, Hillary is good about naming all these different. Well, you know, when I talk to Pashtun Nuri of you know <laughs> Pakistan, and she'll name all these different people in all these different places, and she'll make it appear as though. She's really done a lot, and Trump says, you know, look, that, this is exactly what you're looking at here, a person who names all these different people, all these different names, people that none of us really know or care about. These are obscure individuals. But here's what she won't talk about, her results. Her results suck. If you just look at Hillary Clinton, go to any place she's ever been, there's been no positive result for the country or for American interests. The only people who have benefited have been the Clinton Foundation and its cronies. That's what you get from Hillary Clinton. So she's going to try to wow you with all this big talk. And it'll sound very presidential, but when you boil it down, it has nothing. It, it's root, rooted in nothing but murky nonsense. Now, if he, doesn't, if he doesn't go for it and tries to compete you know, with, well, I talked to the general so-and-so of this, that, and the other, then he'll be fine. But if he, gets fall, if he falls into the trap of who knows more big names and who can name more countries, he's going to lose. And can I just say one thing? I've given this guy a pass for a long time now, but I'm officially announcing that Bono can kiss my ass. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. Look, America is like the best idea the world ever came up with. But Donald Trump is potentially the worst idea that ever happened to Yeah, America. you know. Tell him I think he's a son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, and so we know this because of a singer, right, who's done so much to save the world with his music in the name of love or whatever. Look, look, at the end, when you think about what these guys say, he's potentially the worst, but America is the best. So think about what America creates. America creates, it, the cream rises to the top. No matter how we try to do it, the, the cream ultimately will rise to the top. I'm not talking about Barack Obama becoming president. That's an anomaly. Hillary Clinton trying to be president, all those are anomalies. The cream of America, the thing that defines the American spirit, will make us rise to the top. And I think, you know, I'm, I'm no, you guys know I'm no Trump. I'm no dyed-in-the-wool Trump guy. I don't believe in, in Trump, per se. I believe in the people. I believe that we know what we need when we need it. And I'm not, again, I think that a lot of the nonsense that came around Clinton and some of the nonsense that's created around Hillary Clinton, you're seeing how the left has, has usurped our ability to let our voice be heard. But Trump is the first time in, in a long time that the people have been heard, that we have followed the, the God-given rights of what, what we should be expecting as human beings and individuals and how we've applied that to government, where government is supposed to make sure that the God-given rights of the individual are protected. That's what I believe we've got with Trump. And, it, and I'm not putting my eggs in his basket. It's going to take millions of us keeping not only the, the Congress and, and, and even Donald Trump in check, but keeping each other in check. That's what does it. It isn't, the, it isn't government, and it isn't yeah. some individual. Well, you mentioned cream rising to the top, but uh, you're dehumanizing Americans. They, are not, they don't come from a cow. They don't come in a carton. <laughs> and I don't, think, I don't think you have any eggs, and I don't even think you have a basket. <laughs> so, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, uh, the, spoken, <laughs> spoken like a true uh, lactose intolerant guy. Yeah, it's this whole Skittles thing is driving me nuts. I'm just trying to figure out. Great, I think that what Trump Jr. did by saying, hey, you got a couple of poison Skittles in 100. You're going to eat them? You know, and that's exactly what's happening in New York. Ver verifies it. The Marine uh, Marathon that was, you know, bombed. It All of that validates everything that, that Trump has been saying for a long time. Now we're going to have a shift yet again because a couple of black guys have been shot. Uh, the guy in Tulsa who wouldn't surrender, and now they say he might have been on PCP. His name was Terrence Crutcher. And then we got the guy in North Carolina who appears to be innocently shot, ironically, by a black guy, a black cop, who was chasing a black perp. So I'll be all over media for this stuff in the next few days. But, you know, look, I, I want people to rest assured that, 
the, the, the cloak is coming off of the, the left in so many ways, and it's because of you folks. And, and a quick shout-out, I hope these people go join me at TeaPartyCommunity.com. It's Facebook for Conservatives. I own it and uh, just made another big investment. So I hope people go over there because I'm going to amass millions of people, and we're going to keep these uh, politicians in check. We'll pop the link right up there on the stove, my friend, the theblacksphere.net, at the Blacksphere. Thank you as always, brother. Okay. Take All right, care, it's Common Sense Radio.